Sarah is a five-year-old boy. He, his siblings and his mom live in one bedroom hut in Kandwa of India. They are really poor, struggling to get by every day. One day, Saru's older brother tells him, let's go to the local um, train station and scavenge for food, for money, beg for money, just try to get by. So Saru follows his brother. They take a long walk to the train station. And by the time they get there, he's just five. His legs are tired. He's worn out. So his older brother tells him, okay, sit down on this bench and just rest. I'll do all the work, just chill. So Saru sits down on the bench and before long, he's asleep. Now his older brother is walking up and down the train tracks, picking up what he can, begging for stuff. There was nobody around at this point and a train coming by hits his brother unfortunately and the brother dies. Saru has no idea because he's asleep. By the time Saru wakes up, who knows how long after, there is a train that has stopped on the tracks. He doesn't know where his brother is so he runs up and down the tracks, can't find his brother. He runs into the train. He's running up and down the aisles of the train, asking people for his brother, looking for him, shouting his name. He can't find his brother. So Sari gets the idea that he should sit down and just relax and maybe his brother will find him. So Sari is waiting on this train. Nobody has come yet. Unfortunately, he falls asleep again. The train closes its doors and starts to move. Before Sari wakes up, 14 hours have passed and he has gone from Kandwa to Kolkata in India, over a thousand miles. He doesn't know where he is. He did not even know the name of his village. He's just five years old. No idea, even the language sounds different. <clears throat> Luckily, Saru is used to scavenging for food. So he starts to live on the streets in Kolkata. He's begging for food. He's scavenging, getting by somehow. Eventually, he meets this nice lady who runs an orphanage and she offers him a place to sleep and food to eat. She tries to get him back home, but remember, <clears throat> Saru is only five. He doesn't know the he doesn't know where he's from. So she does the next best thing. She gets him she gets him adopted into a nice family. An Australian couple, Sue and John, adopt Saru. And by the time he's six years old, he's living in Australia happily. They're a very good family. But Saru <clears throat> but Saru cannot get his family out of his head. His mom and his siblings, he hasn't seen them in years and he thinks about them all the time but there's just no way for him to know where he had come from because when that train stopped in Kolkata, trains were going and coming and it was a very busy train station. He had no idea. So at this point, let's say years have passed and Saru is in his 20s now and his friend introduces him to Google Earth and as you know, Google Earth is very precise. It's, if you use Google Earth to blow your mind and when he first used it he was like oh my god this might be a way for me to find where i'm from problem is that india is massive there's 1.4 billion people in that country and it's like looking for a needle in a haystack but he starts the process so every day after work saru sits down and goes to all the train stations in Kolkata, and he and he traces and he traces the train tracks. He goes down the train tracks trying to find anything, anything familiar to him, you know, trying to see where did I come from? And it took him six years. But in the six years, on the sixth year, he was tracing a random train track and he started noticing things that he might recognize. A water tank somewhere, a bridge that looked familiar, you know, stuff like that. And he traced it and traced it until he got to a uh, a place called Kandwa and he said this may be where I'm from but the problem is that there's no way to really know unless he's there so he took a flight from Australia to India went to Kandwa and walked down a road that seemed strangely familiar to him and then he walked all the way and he finally found his village he walked to where their hut used to be but now it was just a pile of rubble and he was almost giving up but then he decided to show his picture, a picture of himself when he was really young, to a neighbor and asked the neighbor, I used to live here, but I went missing for many years. Do you know my family? And the neighbor looked at the picture and said, Oh my goodness, your mom is just around the corner. And so he took Saru around the corner where he saw his mom. They were reunited and it was very beautiful. In the end, he built his mom a little house so she didn't have to struggle so much anymore and they're in contact 
all the time now so today's story is a good story with a good ending bye